Okay, starting here, we'll just look at a weekly chart. There's not much really to see on, on a weekly time frame with regards to Bitcoin. We held the 50 week simple moving average and stayed above the weekly cloud, which is all bullish. So there's not much else to say there on the daily chart. Really, everything is kind of went as, as planned in terms of how I've looked at this. We had the falling wedge, we broke out, and then we've rallied. I believe we rallied uh, over 40 over forty percent into the, the high on July 30th from here on the 21st. That's a, a pretty good move. It's better than what we've seen during the corrective process, which is a break with price personality, which is what we want to see. We want to see an impulsive move off the lows and it corresponds with what we saw at the March high. So, and if you go out further, you'll see that this type of move we saw in Bitcoin actually correlates well with, with situations where rallies are reaching a local high or, or a major, major peak. Whereas this time around, we see this impulsive move coming right off the low. So that's what we want to see that type of demand coming off the 50 week super moving uh, average and for me is very powerful. However, there's one thing that stands out uh, is that in 2018 we did have a significant pull correction into to below around the 50 week simple moving average, and we did have a, a significant rally afterwards, about the same as this one. But that ended up being a dead cat bounce, and we we rolled over after that. So that's something to keep in mind here as we hit this resistance level, this quadfecta of resistance, which included the the daily cloud, the the high from here on June 15th, the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement of this decline, coupled with this low here in February of 43,016. So we've hit that, we're pulling back. None of that is a surprise. Uh, the, ide the ideal scenario would have been that we see a correction in time versus price, just simply so it may, keeps the momentum well placed for continuation of the rally. Uh, moving forward, really, we should look for any pullback below this area, which is this high here from June 29th, comes in at 36,675. We should hold that. Anything below there starts to raise red flags and may suggest a more complex bottom is taking shape. Uh, that would be confirmed if we fall below the 50 day simple moving average in the cloud here. 50 day comes in at 34,909. So anything below that level, probably we are looking at a, a complex body of process or a resumption of the corrective process. But this time I don't see that happening. On the upside, we've got to get through this resistance and then we're off to the 50% retracement, which extends just beyond the 200 day simple moving average. Let me move this here. And, and then uh, if we're past there, you know, we'll start tagging uh, Fibonacci levels from there. I don't have an exact price target at this point, Really, the key is getting above the 200 day and, and this price congestion first, and then taking a look at how we got through there in terms of duration and, and thrust at this point. Obviously, one of the things you want to see is a, a bullish volume arc. We had that. We had lower volume as we were coming down, and now we have higher volume as we went up. That's the type of thing you want to see in the volume profile. We got an overbought reading, but that should, if we are in a bullish situation, that should stay overbought as is the case most of the time. Uh, otherwise, I think we're, we're going as game plan right now with Bitcoin. Go ahead. All right, uh, pretty riveting stuff there, Sheldon, uh, with the cloud and the moving averages. I think I kind of, I'm looking at something similar there. Let me just share my screen. Right, so, uh, I want to point out uh, this particular rally that we have from here uh, to here, which was approximately a 45% upswing, right? We haven't seen a meaningful correction uh, except for this, what's happening right now. And we've had two MRI uh, cell signals uh, pop up here uh, in this rally. So I think we're due for a correction. Uh, as for what the correction might look like, this could be it. Uh, if you swept the lows here, uh, it could start going higher again. But typically what I want to see is, what I would love to see is that people who missed out this rally, I'm not just saying me, uh, but typically rallies like this offer a, uh, an entry point for uh, the sideline investors. And I think it's either going to be the the 50 fib or the 62 fib. And in very rare cases, uh, it's going to come down to 70 fib, which comes around 33,207. 
and the 65th falls in line with the 50 moving average that I just mentioned, Sheldon. Uh, a couple hundred dollars away, though. So I would love for this rally to retrace up to the 65th and then proceed higher, which would be an ideal scenario in my book. But I don't, it might not happen, right? So we could probably uh, bounce off of the support level, which, uh, as we can see from the 12 hour time frame, uh, seems to be a demand on the pop here. Uh, but interestingly, on the nine hour time frame, uh, the MRI is already forming a potential bottom, a buy signal that's being formed here. So if we go down uh, another, if we get another red candle here, uh, bounce off of this support level, which is 37 to 41, uh, this could be a good place for a reversal. And with this, on the six hour time frame, also, uh, buy signals already popped up by the MRI, as we see here. So Really, uh, I think, so personally, I am looking at something like this. Come down here to something like this and then come down. Uh, with the bounce of this, this 55th, hold up, let me just redraw the fifth again. Right, so yeah. Uh, come down to 35, 939, uh, and then bounce off of this or this level and then go higher, right? It could be something like this, or we bounce right from here. So, right, like a so double this, bottom, right? Uh huh. Yeah. So, that would make sense for me. Uh, and the the uptrend that results from other uh, results, the stems from here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actually going to form a double top here again or it's going to go higher. But from a long term perspective, I'm looking at 46K. We're attacking this level will be really uh, a confirmation for me uh, of the beginnings of an uptrend. Right, right now we're still in this range. Yeah, so let me just take this off. Yeah, so we're still stuck in this uh, range from 28, 785 to 42, 451. Right, and we've seen the first tap here. So yeah, I think uh, 46K would be really a uh, good confirmation of the upside for me. But for now, I'm looking at a correction, uh, either under 35K or 34K. Uh, from an option perspective, right? Oh, go ahead. Sorry? No, I was just gonna say 46, 46K aligns pretty closely with the 50% retracement, so of the, mm. of the, of the correction, so. Right, yeah. Yeah, so uh, from an on-chain perspective, right, uh, something really interesting that's happened here is, so 365-day MVRV doesn't really make sense here from a shorter term perspective. The 30-day MVRV, however, has still not reset. Uh, we might not get a reset, but a reset would be really good for the next leg up. But the really interesting thing that I want to show here is this uh, particular uh, drop in the supply of exchange, uh, supply of BTC on exchanges which is really massive and a drop like this hasn't been seen since uh, the beginning of uh, the bull rally for Bitcoin, which was in early October and early early 2021. Right, so this uh, is the kind of structure that's happening over here right now. We fell straight from 2.45 million to 2.3 million. Right, so this is uh, almost 200,000 Bitcoin just moved out of exchanges, which is a really good uh, sign from a long-term perspective. So I think 46K is still on the table. Uh, as for the dead cat bounce, yeah, I don't think that's happening uh, anytime soon, even if it does. So yeah, I think this is really bullish for Bitcoin from a long-term perspective and something to be mindful about. I got a question on on that 30-day 30, 30 MVRV. Was there, were there resets back in, in October and September? Late last year, okay, yeah, there was. In November, there was a reset, then higher. Yes. So, yeah. So there was a reset. Yes, yeah. here. Oh, the one December, here. looks like. One here. Yeah. So those, yeah, that's important to watch. That looks interesting. Yeah. So like going by this uh, and th going by this alone, I think uh, I'm going to be bullish uh, on Bitcoin for the long term. 
Uh, from a short term perspective, the MVRV uh, reset is still bound to happen. And on top of that, the the whale count, the whale transaction count has been spiking a lot, which explains the current uh, correction that's uh, actually going on. So yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful that I'm going to get this uh, retracement that I was just talking about. Right, a 60 or even a 50 fib would be a good place to start. Like you just mentioned, uh, pirate buy here and then add more here. Something along these lines. Okay. Yeah.